Ha! Bubble tea choco pie. Good morning. I'm here in Fremont, California, right on the edge of San Francisco. This amazingly beautiful Airbnb. Look at this. So pretty. And this place, not only beautiful, there's a barbecue grill. So I figured today, I'm gonna go buy some stuff, come back and just cook and enjoy the place. And I'm gonna head to the H Mart that just opened in San Francisco. Of all the H Mart videos I've done in the past many years, this is the first time I actually got an invite from H Mart to go into one of their stores and officially partner with them on a video because they're doing a huge Korean food promotion with the Korean government. So I'm gonna go to the H Mart, check out their promotion, and of course, pick out whatever food I think looks good and eat it. And today I'm thinking barbecue and instant noodles. Mild or spicy? Spicy. And they're having a special event in the store where if you take a photo in this booth, you get a free gift. Whoa, you get a whole giant sized barley teas for taking a photo and a bag. Whenever I go to a Korean supermarket, gotta get a Korean pair. And these things are good if you just eat it straight. Or you can use the juice to make marinade for sauces, so many uses. Also, you get instant noodles, you gotta jazz it up. And I like to add some shrooms. Kimchi, of course. Ooh, chicken soup. One thing I love about Korean supermarkets, if you're ever too lazy to make rice, they got these microwave bowls of rice. So convenient. Ate this my entire quarantine when I was over there. Oh, here we go. The instant noodle aisle. So many things here I want. Boda comes out with new stuff all the time. Look at this. Stew. Oh, corn. Never had this before. This looks good. Oh my God. You guys, I've been looking for this forever. This Jin Jambon. This is sold out pretty much everywhere. Can't even get this on Amazon. I never even tried this before. All I know is this is amazing. Let's get some jajangmyeon. Oh, so long tang ramen. Clean, spicy coconut. Wow, look at this prepared food aisle. Pickled garlic and vinegar. This will be so good with my noodles. This whole section again, kimchi, banchan, prepared foods, boiled, Pig ear, heck yeah. Oh, this is still hot, boiled mackerel. Dessert, Korean rice cakes. And this is their barbecue section. So anything from galbi to pork belly to brisket, it's all here. Ha! Huh. Bubble tea choco pie. <laughs> Every H Mart has a food court. You gotta explore it. Ooh. Fried chicken. Hey, Mike Chen. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Mike Chen. Nice to meet you, man. Oh my god. Am I gonna be on the video? Yeah. I love your videos, man. Thank you. What's your name? Aaron. 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 Nice to meet you, nice man. This is a kakojin, so it's a mix of braised beef ribs and oxtail. Tons of mozzarella cheese on top. Slowly braised beef ribs. Oh, there's an oxtail. Oh yeah. Oh, that is so beautiful. So beautiful. And they torch it on top. It's 
so all the cheese is melty and delicious. And you can just take the cheese and wrap it around the beef rib. Oh, that's good. I will 100% recommend getting it with the oxtail. Mm. And then you can also trade off from the meat to the rice cake. It's really hard for food to get better than this. This is an apex dish in the Korean food kingdom. Nothing, not much is better than that spicy, boiling, cheesy, bowl of tender bones and meat. This might be one of the best versions of this dish I've had in a long, long time. Oh wow, they're, they're too nice. They just brought over beef ribs. Oh my gosh. Check out how tender that looks. Oh, with the bones intact as well. Oh my goodness. This is a good place. Any chance you guys willing to move to St. Louis? Open a place in St. Louis? Look at this meat. Whoa. This is like beef for lazy people. Minimum effort breaking those apart. That's it. I think my plans changed a little bit. I think uh, it's gonna have to be, it's gonna have to be finished dish, go home, fall into a coma, and then maybe late lunch or early dinner. That's just too bad I don't come to San Francisco enough. This is such a good place. All right, brought all the food home, a wall of instant noodles. Let's play another game of, this is gonna be part one of a series where just like the H Mart frozen dumplings, I'm gonna try out every single instant noodle in H Mart, starting with these right here. And of course, I, I got other stuff I, I think tastes really good. So much to try. Let, let's start with something light. Let's start with the beef bone soup. While I'm waiting for the water to boil, if you ever go inside a Korean supermarket, if you never had a choco bite before, pick up some choco pie. Never seen this before. Black sugar choco pie. Is that a beef rib soup? I deserve dessert. It actually tastes like black sugar boba. <laughs> this is awesome. Take a sip of my barley tea. Also, if you never tried barley tea before, pick one of these up. This is a very simple instant noodle, and I follow the instructions perfectly. There's a lot of broth here. This thing is definitely focused on the broth. You know, I, I, I really thought this was kind of like a plain Jane sort of instant noodles. I mean, one seasoning pack. Nowadays, instant noodles sometimes have like six seasoning packs. One seasoning pack, really simple looking noodles. Oh, that's smooth. That's smooth, and it's creamy, and it's delicious. It tastes like a soup you would get at a Korean restaurant that's been stewing for a while. It actually tastes like that. They said to add some kimchi if you want, so I added some kimchi. This just tastes like grandma's beef bone soup. So comforting and delicious and simple, but so good. Yeah, 100% recommend for those rainy days where you just don't feel like doing anything, just wanna stay in bed and have something not too spicy, not too salty, not too anything like the food I typically eat. Go for this. Next up, let's try this. Hong, which means red. Hong ramen. Never had this before. So this one says, for better taste, add dumplings, eggs, cheese, ham, sliced rice cakes, Kimchi or vegetables. All I have are kimchi and I do have some dumplings. Hmm. Whoa. Springiest noodle of the day. Doesn't look like it, but this is probably what Stretch Armstrong was made out of. Wow, so springy. Super nice and spicy. Oh, that is a filled up dumpling. Super thin outer layer, tons of meat and kimchi and noodles. Dunk that into the broth a little bit. 
Not too bad. Get some kimchi dumplings, put it in some instant noodles with a kimchi broth. You're gonna absolutely love it. So the Jin Jump Home, which again, never had this before. This thing's legendary. Um, when it first came out a bunch of years ago, this thing was sold out in H Mars across the country and it was reselling on Amazon for about 20 bucks a pack. Let's see what the fuss is all about. Well, that's just like tasting the ocean. Now I know you're, 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 you know, swimming and, and, and swallowing a mouthful of seawater kind of way, but in a, you were invited by Poseidon to have a feast and he served you some soup with a bunch of his subjects in their kind of way. Wow. I mean, I haven't got to the noodles yet, but this broth is the highlight. I mean, it's so seafoody. It does not taste like it came from a pack. It's spicy, a little briny. Again, it's tons of clean seafood flavor. I think I should have put less water because I feel like I diluted the flavor a little bit. Still delicious, but I feel like I did it a disservice. Mm. Noodles are extremely solid. I mean, you taste the shrimp, you taste the crab, you taste the umami of the seafood. Oh, I feel good. <sighs> if you can get your hands on some gin noodle, go get you some. So I saved a jajamin for last. Give this a try. Not bad. This is the worst one of the day. I mean, maybe it would have been better if like, you added like almost no water at all and mixed it. It just tastes like nothing. I'm supposed to drink this? Yeah. This is definitely no bueno. I mean, I don't know what happened here. Maybe they forgot the part where, where they tell you to throw the water out. I don't know. Oh, my chicken's ready. This chicken has cooked and cooking this was so simple. You just put this whole thing into boiling water for about 40 to 50 minutes. Just open it up. Pour it out. Oh my goodness. Whole chicken popped out of there with a ginseng. And I'm just using chopsticks right now. Look how easy the meat falls apart. And inside the chicken, Usually, let's see if this one has it. Oh, there it is. Sticky rice, chestnut, garlic, and dates inside. I like this a lot. I really like this. This is something, this is just like that instant noodle I had in the beginning, where the broth feels like a soft velvety blanket covering your tongue and covering your stomach. It tastes like a grandma's kiss, a mother's lullaby, just everything that is comforting in the world is right here in this broth. It's not overly salty at all, but it's got that nice ginseng flavor. As soon as I opened the bag, I smelled the chicken, I smelled the ginseng. You pretty much smell the healing properties of this broth. Mmm, chicken meat is so tender. I'm gonna try some of this rice. Oh, this is really good as well. Again, this is one of those dishes that it's just so nice to have something like this in your freezer for those days where you're just kind of like, I don't want to eat too much. I don't, I, my stomach isn't feeling great. I'm not feeling great. It's a little cold outside. I'm feeling a little chillier. When, when you just finish watching Forrest Gump, you get chills all over the place. You want something to warm your body and your soul up. This is it. This is not something I typically eat, but I will personally stock my freezer with a couple packs of this. Oh, also, let me show you a choco pie hack. Take your choco pie, put it on a plate. Ooh, 10 seconds in the microwave, it grew in size. All melted marshmallowy and chocolatey. And, <laughs> and that's how you actually should eat a choco pie. All right, getting a little dark. Let's go barbecue.
And these are nice looking mushrooms right here. What I like to do is really simple, slice them up, little olive oil, salt and pepper, throw it on the grill or throw it in the pan. That's all you need to do. This is so nice. Got the heat lamp working. Meat is done. Mushroom is grilled. This meat, a little salt and pepper, all you need. Mushrooms are also perfect as well. Mm. I mean, I've done a lot of H Mart videos in the past. Never somewhere cool like this with an actual barbecue outside. Dessert. <laughs> Korean pear. Go get yourself one of these. One of the sweetest, juiciest, most delicious fruit you ever put in your mouth. It's probably one of my, if not my favorite H Mart food day. Just because I get to do it here at this awesome ranch in California in November, still be able to sit outside with a t-shirt. Anyway, always fun going on a food excursion into H Mart. Hopefully you guys found today's food review video helpful. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again. See you later.